This is Grace with Graceful Living. Today I'm going to talk about traveling in Italy being vegan. I'm also gluten free, so the restaurants that I'm talking about today that are vegan are also very friendly to people who are gluten free. First, I'm going to talk about an ice cream. I will say that in Italy, it is very easy to find ice cream that is friendly to vegans, and I did not have any trouble going to different gelato places. There was always gelato for me to eat, even in the most remote places. I'm going to concentrate on Florence and Rome in this video, as that's where I found the most vegan-friendly restaurant. Flower Burger is a chain that began in Milan, Italy. We went to the one in Florence. They make their own veggie burgers. Here are the options pictured. You order at the counter and then they give you a buzzer and you sit and wait and they buzz you when you're ready. This is a picture of my husband's meal and this is my meal with the gluten-free bun. The next place we checked out was Il Vigano. This is the menu with mostly Italian style food. We also have some pictures which are helpful. They have juices here to order. I ordered an eggplant parm and my husband ordered some pasta. We hit Santo Falafel next. It's a small place with a few seats and a counter to order. The falafels were delicious but a little bit greasy. The lentils and rice were good as well. You'll get a good bang for your buck here. My favorite place in Florence that we visited is Raw Vegan Firenze. Here they have cold pressed juices as well. You order at the counter and you can eat either inside or outside. We chose to eat outside and they have a shaded area where you can eat. This is their indoor seating. Here's their menu. They have smoothies, gelato, raw breakfast, hot drinks. I ordered a pizza, which I thought was very good, as well as raw vegan sushi, which was really good as well. In Rome, someone recommended Buddy Veggie to us. They had some cute decor as well as a Buddha in the lobby. And this is the counter where they prepare the drinks. They have placemats where they show different animal sanctuaries you can visit in Italy. I took a picture of this, so next time I go to Italy, I'm definitely going to check some animal sanctuaries out. My husband had the carbonara, which he enjoyed. I had one of their bowls, which they prepared gluten-free for me. We checked out a raw place in Italy called Icru. It's a small place not so far away from tourist attractions. They have their menu posted outside the restaurant. My husband had a sandwich which he loved and I ordered the vegan sushi which I thought was delightful as well. We had some tiramisu for dessert. We really like this restaurant and I definitely recommend it. I am of course saving the best for last and the best place that we went to in Italy is Brinda. The restaurant does not use any onions, garlic, or mushrooms, and the food is still delicious. It's an Ayurvedic restaurant located in a beautiful part of northern Rome. We went with non-vegan people, and they loved the food there as well. The first course we had was called Snow on the Mountain. It was homemade vegan cashew cheese potato balls with mango cream and white tapioca chips. This is another very delicious appetizer we shared. This was the chef's signature dish, Rays of Sun. Beautiful presentation and delicious. This is the journey to paradise, which was lightly sauteed vegetables and crepes. This is hummingbird feathers, which was white lentil balls and vrinda a lav sauce. If you are in Rome, definitely check out vrinda. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe or follow me on Instagram. Please go to graceinhawaii.com for more information.